Growing from seed, a clone, or tissue? What's best? The answer to this question ultimately lies with the type of grower you are. Are you growing just a couple of cannabis plants for personal use? Are you legally growing in larger quantities? Are you a major commercial grower specializing in legalized cannabis for medical reasons? Currently, there are four main ways for germplasm collection. Germplasm being that stuff which you can grow from a plant, either seeds or cuttings from existing plants. So, what are the four main ways of propagating cannabis plants? From seed, cloning from a seeded mother, tissue culture, a clone from a mother created by tissue culture. Have we lost you? We're not huge fans of complex botany either, but it's still useful to get an idea of what this is all about. We all know what growing something from seed involves, so we'll skip that bit, other than to say it is the cheapest way to grow cannabis but takes the most time and has the most variable results. Cloning from a seed mother simply means taking cuttings from a growing plant, which subsequently reduces variations found from growing from seed. The advantage of cloning is that a new plant is already at stage 3 of its development, so you are bypassing the first two most dangerous stages of growth. Cloning like this requires certain skills, and unlike animal cloning, cloned plants aren't always identical. Time to cultivation is much quicker than growing from seed, though knowing when to take the cuttings from the mother plant requires experience. Next, to create an even better clone, you need to take original cuttings and grow clones in a totally sterile environment, from which you can take further clones, which are known as tissue culture plantlets. Finally, you can take clones from the tissue culture derived mother. Yes, it seems to get more complicated, but in simple terms, tissue culture plantlets are created specifically for either growing cannabis or to become mother plants to new clones. Because the clone from the tissue culture derived mother is a clone of a clone and all created under sterile conditions, the final clones in this chain are going to produce plants of very similar quality. However, as you will appreciate, when you start cloning, not only does it take longer to produce cannabis, but it also becomes more costly and invariably requires more space. Hopefully, you're still with us. And if you are, why not share a little of your own experience in the comments section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and consider subscribing so you too can become a cannabis expert.